Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here at my next Avatar Weekly Discussion Topic video. And this one is going to be my predictions for next weekend's San Diego Comic Con Avatar panel. So I'm going to do this, I suppose, in two parts. Um, first, um, what I think should happen. And then what I actually think will happen, because there is a difference. Um, so... Before we get started, let's just talk about the panel again. The main panel, the Dark Horse official panel, is called The Comic Book Elements of Avatar and Korra. Dark Horse and Nickelodeon are excited to treat fans to a panel worthy of Aang himself. Join the creative team behind The Legend of Korra Turf Wars and other special guests for a further exploration of the world. Fans will also have an opportunity to showcase their knowledge of the elements in a fun trivia competition. Panelists will be Janet Varney, Michael Dante DiMartino, Irene Coe, and Dustin Nelson. Dustin Nelson being the social media coordinator for Dark Horse, so he's probably going to be the moderator of the panel, kind of uh, keeping things going. Um, so yeah, that's the panel. They slightly updated it since we last, since, since I initially reported on it, just to confirm that, okay, Janet Varney and Dustin Nelson are the guests as such. But um, yeah, immediately I think the big thing that everyone is talking about is just that the panel description and the title say Avatar as well as Korra. Whereas I think most people wouldn't have been at all surprised to just see them call this like the Turf Wars panel or something like that. So it's interesting that both the title refers to Avatar and then the first line of the description says a panel worthy of Aang himself. Um, so that gives some hope that like, oh, maybe Avatar will be to some degree a uh, a focus of this panel and I think ultimately the big thing with this is is this meant to be should we even expect any news from this panel and if they're not going to give us any news then what really is the purpose of this panel because Turf Wars part one will not officially be out by the time this panel happens the release date for the book is going to be three days after the um, panel takes place and as much as they're selling the book at the panel uh, at the convention I mean I don't think that's enough justification to like do any sort of spoiler discussion about turf wars so it's almost like too close to turf wars to go overboard on turf wars because it's like so close and not, not everyone has read it just yet um, there's still enough time like three days before release that again you know they can't really go too much in depth on it and then like just in general like a lot of the other stuff that you would maybe focus on is kind of covered in in panels that the that Mike and Irene have been on previously like if you look at the schedules for Mike and Irene over the course of the weekend they're on a variety of like um diversity like unique ideas and comics panels like I, I I and and they reference the fact that like these are writers from like Cora and then the Cora comic where they cover you know a, a female female relationship so like like it, I don't I can't see Cora Sami being like something to keep a full panel going so either this is going to be very similar to New York Comic Con last year where it's very little substance and then immediately they're just straight into like trivia and stuff like that or they actually will have to acknowledge the fact that this is a big San Diego Comic Con panel and have actual news and coverage before you kind of get going. Now, I suppose getting into what I think needs to happen, what I feel needs to happen for you know the future of the franchise going forward, Not maybe it's not completely dependent that it happens exactly at this panel, but at some point, very shortly, they need to address the future of Avatar comics. And as much as, you know, all the stuff seems to be Turf Wars focused, you absolutely have to address to some degree what's happening with Avatar comics. Because, one, you're at a Dark Horse panel. Dark Horse, in terms of Avatar, are primarily known for Avatar comics. This is their first core comic they're coming out with. And the way they've left off Avatar comics right now has been so up in the air. They never said that North and South would be the last Avatar comic. But they also haven't announced what the next one is. So what's happening there, given that one thing we do know, is that Team Guru Huru aren't, board, aren't on board anymore. So I think they need some sort of announcement or just a statement to be made about, you know, what's happening with Avatar comics. 
I would really want a proper announcement like here's what the next the title of the next book is whether or not that that happens or not I'll I'll cover in what I actually think will happen in the panel I also feel that's, they probably realistically should cover the future of core comics as well. We know Iron Co is only staying on board for Turf Wars. So what's happening with, uh, with core comics? Is there actually plans to do more after Turf Wars or is Turf Wars it? Then, you know, obviously they are going to touch on some of the other merchandise they have coming out. So given that it is the Dark Horse panel, they're going to address the fact that the core coloring book has just been released, you know, by the time the panel happens, you know, like two weeks prior. Um, they're going to cover, you know, Turf Wars Part 1 coming out in a couple of days. They're probably going to c- touch on the fact that the cover and details are out for Turf Wars Part 2. I can maybe see one of the main announcements being the cover for Part 3, if it's ready. Um, which I assume it would be based on, you know, previous kind of things. That would that would be a nice thing to get, just the last cover for the Turf Wars series. Um, and of course they will I, I assume bring up the North and South Library Edition which is coming out in October I believe and you know after that that's all the merchandise that they really have so if they cover the stuff that you know is coming out you know shortly it's it is basically just that okay coloring book has just been released Turf Wars Part 1, Turf Wars Part 2, Turf Wars Part 3 um, North and South Library Edition What's that, what after that? There's no other like non-story piece of merchandise coming out so what exactly is going on here and I feel they should try to capitalize on the fact that Turf Wars is going to get a lot of hype around the franchise again so it would actually make sense for Dark Horse to like announce a decent amount of merchandise to be released um, even if maybe they're not announcing all the comics we want so you know in terms of what I, I think the, the dream lineup for the panel will be you know Avatar, future of Avatar announcement, future of Korra announcement, little touching on Turf Wars to address some final things just before the release. Um, They'll probably show some of the preview pages, I would assume, at the panel, just in case people haven't maybe seen them, just to confirm that you can buy the people who are here at the convention can buy the the book at the convention and so on. And... you know, address the upcoming merch, the, the the books that are still to be released, as I said, like the North and South, what all the covers for the Turf Wars are, with, I think, the Turf Wars Part 3 cover being perhaps one of the key reveals, um, and then, you know, potentially other merchandise. I think that's kind of like the dream lineup that everyone would really want, um, with obviously the trivia stuff only being a little bit towards the end, but... As I'm gonna, I suppose the main thing of this video is what I actually think will happen is that realistically the trivia competition is probably going to be more or less half of the panel, which immediately cuts the hour down to half an hour for them to actually address, you know, stuff. And then you have to take the intro out of the way, introducing all the panelists. There's going to be some level of discussion about Turf Wars, even though all of the like interview stuff that we've gotten recently has probably covered everything that we need to know. Um, so you're, you're kind of talking about like almost there's like 20 minutes in the panel where like really anything of note can happen and whether or not that is just, you know, them just talking randomly and doing the usual filling in time at a convention stuff or actually making announcements. I'm not entirely sure. Now, with regards to the future of Avatar comics, it's something that's on a lot of people's mind. What do we actually think they will do with it? I think they will say something like, like kind of teases the future of Avatar comics, but no like official announcement will be made. That That's kind of where I'm at right now. I don't feel they'll have any like cover to show us or a logo or anything like that. I feel we'll all be kind of just like, I think either Mike or, you know, Dustin here, the Dark Horse uh, media coordinator, one of them is going to make some sort of a comment about like uh, the 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 few like the next avatar book or something like that they'll like say a next avatar book which is basically revealing that there is a new one without actually saying what it is or what it's about and then anything beyond that maybe like a tease of like a time skip they maybe say like the the characters are older or something like that that's about the level i can see them going for i i i, abs- I absolutely want to be proven wrong i don't want that to be all that there is but realistically, that's what I think is going to happen. They'll maybe tease something, but that's about it. I can't see them making an announcement for a new artist. Um, I don't even know if they'll confirm that Gene Yang is the writer. But I feel they'll they'll say something to just solidify within Avatar fans that 
okay, there is a future for Avatar comics. I don't think they'll say anything about the future of Korra comics beyond just addressing Turf Wars, um, which I think makes sense, but moving into like New York Comic Con time, especially going into like the early stages of 2018, that's when you do need to address the future of Korra comics. Again, at the at most, I can maybe see them addressing like, like saying something along the lines of, but that's something we'll cover in future books. Kind of confirming that there is going to be more books after Turf Wars. It's just they have to find a new artist to actually draw them. And um, then beyond that, I I I I think they will do the usual merchandise rundown. I think that's something that you sh- everyone should kind of expect to happen. They'll. They'll show the core coloring book. They'll show the cover for Turf Wars Part One. Maybe some of the preview pages. They'll show um, no. But wait, they actually didn't they do that at New York Comic Con last year? Didn't they show those preview pages? I'm not. I'm not sure. Maybe it was only two. They they might show some of those preview pages. Um, they'll show the cover for Turf Wars Part Two. Um, do I actually think they'll show the cover for Part Three? I think they will. I, I feel that's probably m- maybe one of the only notable visual things that we'll have as news to take away from the panel. It would make sense that yeah, the covers are done a long way in advance. But also knowing that like with Irene Co, she is more or less done with Turf Wars Part 2 in terms of the drawing. Um, it would make sense that you know Heather Campbell has finished the cover for Part 3 and it would be a nice thing to show off. So I feel that's probably something that's quite realistic to think about, that they'll show the cover for Part 3, unless it's very spoilery about stuff that's happening in Turf Wars, but I'm not sure. The The, the covers don't tend to be overly spoilery for the most part. Um, you know, you know they, they will cover the uh, uh, North and South Library edition. Now, will they go in any depth t- into saying something like... Uh, the, about the Team Guru Huru piece of art. Will they say anything about that and that there is this really cool piece of art that features most of the characters. It's Team Guru Huru's last ever piece of Avatar art. Will they say that? Will they show it? I'm not sure. I have a feeling they'll just kind of brush by it and maybe with that, that's when they'll do their little comment about Avatar comics that there is more maybe coming at some point, but there's nothing to say right now. Um... And they'll probably from there transition into the trivia competition. And as for whether they'll do like a Q&A thing at the end, I'm not sure. I have a feeling they might keep the mic away from the audience here in that I feel it'll either be everyone at the everyone early in the queue with the mics will be asking Cora Sammy questions or, or else you will actually have people just saying what's happening with the future of Avatar comics if it hasn't been addressed at the panel so far. And I have a feeling they maybe don't want to answer that question right now. Um, so I don't know if there will be a Q&A or not. Which leaves really the only kind of question really about... Will there be other merchandise announcements? Will they announce other like poster collection type things? Like other art books? Uh, other little figurines or anything like that? I think they should. Just to capitalize on Turf Wars. Um, what exactly that is or what they'll do i i really don't know i i just have some level of hope that there will be an announcement that dark horse just aren't done with avatar Korra. now obviously for us as fans it makes logical sense that you're you know that turf wars is going to sell well it's going to be one of your biggest books it would make sense that you have other merchandise to coincide with that to sell well and you know capture the you know the hype whether or not they actually execute that, I don't really know. Dark Horse have been a bit all over the place recently with how they've gone about doing some of this stuff. So, I don't really know. So, I think that's more or less all I really want to say here about the panel. My expectations are relatively low for this. I wish I could go in feeling really happy and excited and that like we really should expect an announcement, but I really don't think we're going to get one. I... I think even my kind of more realistic expectations are probably too optimistic. I feel that this could very well just be one of those panels where it's just Janet, Mike, uh, Irene just talking about Turf Wars really vaguely without really going into any detail, addressing some of the stuff they've covered in interviews that we've heard all the, the last couple of months no new information and it's just wasting time not addressing any new information and that like realistically anyone attending the panel probably didn't even need to attend i hope there's more to it than that 
but um, just the way news has gone with regards to comics and Dark Horse recently, I don't know if there's any reason to be any more optimistic than that. I hope I'm proven wrong, and I hope that they have big announcements, but um, at the same time, when have they ever had like a big comic announcement at these panels? They haven't really, um, and... I don't think this is really going to be the year to do it either. And I think that just speaks to where the fandom is right now. That me, who I think I'm usually pretty optimistic about these things in terms of hyping up these events. But this year I just really don't feel all that strongly about it. And that's a really bad thing to have some of your fandom feeling that way. So yeah, that's going to be the video for today. In the comments let me know what you realistically think is going to be at this panel do you have any hope for news or do you really just think this is going to be like a core Sammy discussion that we've heard a million times already? So yeah, that's been a video. Thanks for watching and bye.